The incident has also left a young family to be displaced. Destiny and Sam Rodemakers' home is located behind the house that exploded and have been deemed unlivable. Local 4's Madison Smith joins us from our Grand Island studio with more. Brandon, Destiny, and Sam Rodemaker were having a typical Saturday morning with their two young girls when the explosion happened. Initially, initially, Destiny thought it was their house that had exploded, and it wasn't until she got outside that she realized it hadn't been her family's home. After hearing the explosion, Destiny knew she needed to get her family out of the house, but her home had completely shifted, leaving her in, unable to open her door. She says she res resorted to trying to kick open the door. A sheriff ended up coming up to my door and he was saying, you guys have to get out of the house. You have to get out of the house. And I was trying to tell him, I can't open the door. And he said, I can't hear you. Because I guess he was close to the explosion. So his ears were ringing. He couldn't hear me. He eventually figured out that I couldn't open the door. So he started pulling on the door and I was kicking it. All of these pictures, courtesy of Destiny, are what the inside of their home looked like Saturday afternoon when they were able to go inside and grab a few items. But they are not allowed to go back into the house due to it being structurally unsafe. The Rodemacher family was just getting settled. They had just moved into their home in early January, and Sam just got out of the Marine Corps three weeks ago. Destiny says they're unsure of a lot of things right now, including if they'll ever be able to move back into that house. She says they're thankful to have family they can stay with for now, but it's not permanent. The link to the family's GoFundMe will be attached to this story on our KSNB Local 4 website and app. Brandon, back to you in Hastings.